Hi, today I want to talk to you about payments, returns, and credit memos in payables for Dynamics GP that are applied outside of the scope of creating the check, so they're showing up on the check stop. I get asked a lot by my customers, why are these payments, credit memos, and um, returns showing up on the check and the invoices they're applied to, because I don't intend for that to happen. So how can I handle getting around that? Right now, we're looking at this payables uh, transaction inquiry, transaction by vendor in the purchasing series for Central uh, Cellular. And we can see here we have two open or unapplied credit memos and three invoices. So we're going we're to go through the process of applying those and see how that happens. Now, before we do that, let's look at a setup feature. In payables setup, there's an option here in the bottom left corner, print previously applied documents on remittance. Now, if you unmark this, you'll never see those options uh, or never see um, previously applied credit memos, payments, or returns. Um, if you leave it marked, you have the option to include them or not. Now, including them will only show those payments, credit memos, and returns that were applied since the last time you printed a check. And that way you can share with your vendor on a check stub or remittance form all of the, the documents that you've entered in your system and how you've applied them. Okay, so let's talk about how they get applied right now. Um, one thing I want to point out is if you use the select check function to create a check then you're, and you automatically choose to apply these, and which is the default, the payments, credit memos, and returns, they'll automatically be applied and they will show up on your check stub. So let's close that out. So, another way that you can pre-apply them is if you were to go in to apply payables document under transactions and in the top right hand corner you can choose all of the documents that reduce the balance that have a status of open and then down below you can see all the documents that increase the balance that have a status of open and so you can go ahead and apply those transactions accordingly. So I have fully applied and fully cleared out this particular invoice and then applied the rest to the largest invoice. And you can see my unapplied amount is zero. So now that I have that done, if I were to go into edit checks, and I'll create, I think I already have a batch set up there, and I'll put in central cellular. And if I were to go into check stub, go ahead and continue, I'm gonna see where I've previously applied this, and I have the ability to unapply it if I choose. So that's an int a, a cool way we can manage it as well. So what I'm going to do is go into apply, and I'm just going to pay $50 on that large invoice. So that's all the check is going to be for, $50. And I'm going to leave these marked so you can see how that ha or how it ends up looking. So let's go to print checks. And I'm going to print the checks to the screen. And here you can see the uh, credit memo. And you can see how it was applied, because I fully paid off this 93.55, and I applied the rest to this particular invoice. And you can also see the $50 and how it was paid. So that's one way to handle it. Let's go ahead and process that. I'm going to just cancel all my reports. Now let's do the same thing again, only this time we're going to apply it while we're creating the check, and I'm going to choose not to have them show up. So I'm going to create another batch, and I'm going to put in central cellular again, and this time I'm going to go in and um, click on my uh, apply button and instead of applying to this right away I'm going to click on the lookup screen in the top right hand corner and I can again see all the documents that reduce the balance so I'm going to select that one and I'm going to apply it to this smaller invoice and apply the rest here and I'll click on say okay now you can see that I still have no check amount but you can see I do have the check stubs here now if I just wanted to clear the check, I could go ahead and just do it, clear it from the stub. I could you know, just print a zero check out now. But I want to actually go in and just pay the full balance off, the remaining balance. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So now, on my check stub, I still see all of these transactions. And you can see these are how I apply. And then here is the amount of the check. So I'll click OK. And whoops, first I want to unmark the two I don't want to show up. 
because those were some of the previously applied ones. And now I'll go into print checks. And this time when I print checks, only the check payment invoice is going to appear. I see the um, original amount of the invoice and the amount being paid on this check. And we'll go ahead and post that. And as this finished posting, then I've got the inquiry screen I had up earlier. I'm just going to redisplay, and now you can see it's fully closed. So that's a little bit about why they show up and how you can control them. Hope this helps.